Andy here. If like me, you follow and check regularly prices of sealed booster boxes, especially boxes from 2002 to 2006, a period of personal nostalgia, having started playing and collecting during that time, you know that these boxes tend to have a relatively constant increase in price. Every year that passes, boxes from the Muradin block, Kamigawa block, Ravnica block and Time Spiral block tend to have an increase in value or in price of around 10 to 25%. Some years less, some years more, depending on the set. We're talking here about sets or more boxes that are out of print for a quite number of time. But recently, something strange or more abnormal happened. These boxes from an average of 500 to 700 dollars or 400 to 600 euro, always depending on the expansion, for example, Champions of Kamigawa have been always more valued than Saviors of Kamigawa, the price of these boxes skyrocketed to 1000, 1400 dollars or 900 to 1300 euros. And this happened not in a span of years, but in a span of four weeks. In December 2020, these boxes were much less expensive. Let's have a look at some current prices on eBay and card market, the European market. Mirrodin, at the time of the recording of this video, end of January 2021, there were only two boxes available for sale on eBay, averaging $1,200. On the European market, there are four boxes available for sale, cheapest one, 1,250 euro or 1,400 dollars. Champions of Kamigawa, my favorite, on eBay only one box found for 1,400 dollars. On the European market, cheapest one is 820 euro, but it's dented, so it's damaged. And the only mint box, it's available for sale for 1,300 euros, about 1,500 dollars. Saviors of Kamigawa, I said that it's the least, most popular set in the Kamigawa block. On eBay, two boxes available, 900 to 1000 dollars, and on the European market, only two boxes available from 800 to 1000 euro. Planner Chaos, on eBay, I couldn't find one box in English sealed for sale, whilst on the European market, there is only one box for 1150 euro or 1300 dollars. So, what is happening here? Why these boxes have drastically increased in price? I believe this is the work of a very high demand versus a very low supply. Similar to a buyout, but not from one individual, but from a good number of collectors or investors. Let me explain. Print run of Magic the Gathering booster boxes is fixed. What I mean by fixed, I mean that for sure a company like Wizard of the Coast do forecasts and budgets. I'm sure that before releasing a new set, they do their homework of how many boxes they are going to sell. This is normal business or accountancy practice. And there is a good reason why. Budgets and forecasts are done to minimize cost and increase profits. Let's say you are going to release a new set, Champions of Kamigawa. Your accountant and business analyst will do some budgets and forecast of how many boxes you are going to sell. And let's say, for example, they come with a figure, 100,000 boxes. If you forecast to sell 100,000 units, you don't produce 1 million units. And these forecasted numbers are sent to the printing company to start printing your product. To print your boxes, the printing company incurs cost to calibre and set the printing machines. This cost is fixed, which means that if you print one box or 100,000 boxes, you are still going to incur the cost. While printing the actual number of boxes, it's a variable cost, which means that cost varies depending on the amount of boxes you print. And that's why I believe the print runs of Magic the Gathering booster boxes are relatively fixed. Once they are done from a set and start another job, they don't reprint more of the previous set. And this means that contrary to popular belief, boxes from this period in English and still sealed are not that much common. Where's our boxes prior this period? But that's a topic for another video. Because these are becoming scarce, when you have a group of individuals that at the same time, and that's why I compare it to a buyout, 
are buying these boxes and demanding for more, the price skyrocketed in a span of few weeks. It's the economic law of supply and demand. As a conclusion, personally, I believe that these prices will never go down to the previous levels. On the contrary, I believe they could continue to increase. They are becoming out of reach of the majority of us. Reason being, as explained, the scarcity will continue to push the price up. Leave a comment below what you think about this instant increase in prices of these boxes. And as always, here's the subscription button. Subscribe for my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.